Pulmonary Rehabilitation, or Pulmonary Rehab for short, is a structured program specifically designed for patients with chronic respiratory diseases. It often involves specific exercises that play a pivotal role in enhancing lung capacity, endurance, and overall respiratory health. Emphasizing their importance, this video breaks down the best pulmonary rehab exercises that you can seamlessly perform from the comfort of your home. These exercises are not only beneficial, but also convenient for anyone who prefers or requires home-based care. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Number one, diaphragmatic breathing. This exercise focuses on the diaphragm, the primary muscle of breathing. To perform this exercise, lie on your back with your knees bent. Place one hand on your upper chest and the other on your stomach. Inhale deeply through the nose, ensuring that the diaphragm rises, which you can feel with your hand on the stomach. Then exhale slowly through pursed lips. The goal is to minimize the movement of the chest while maximizing the movement of the diaphragm. Number two, purse lip breathing. This technique helps increase oxygen exchange and can help calm breathlessness. To perform this exercise, sit or lie down in a comfortable position and inhale through the nose for two counts. Then exhale through purse lips as if blowing out a candle for four counts. This extended exhalation helps to open up the airwaves and improves the amount of oxygen that reaches the lungs. Number three, lung exercise or device breathing. There are several devices available that provide resistance when you breathe in or out, helping to strengthen the lungs and improve inhalation and exhalation. To use, simply place your lips securely around the mouthpiece and breathe according to the device's instructions. Make sure to maintain a tight seal around the mouthpiece to ensure effective resistance. If you're interested in a breathing exercise or device, I'll drop a link to some of our favorites down below in the description. Number 4. Seated Marches this exercise helps enhance cardiovascular fitness and lower body strength without putting too much strain on the joints. All you have to do is sit straight on a sturdy chair with your feet flat on the ground. Begin by lifting one knee toward the chest, then lower it back down, and then alternate with the other knee. Continue this marching motion maintaining a steady pace and ensure you breathe consistently throughout the exercise. Number 5. Seated Leg Extensions this exercise strengthens the quadriceps, which are the large muscle at the front of the thigh, while also promoting blood circulation. To perform this exercise, sit securely on a chair with your feet flat on the ground. Slowly extend one leg out in front of you, keeping it level with the seat of the chair, and hold for a moment. Then slowly lower the leg back down. Alternate and repeat with the other leg and ensure that your back remains straight and supported against the back of the chair throughout the movement. Number 6. Wall Push-Ups this is a great way to build upper body strength without the full intensity of a standard push-up. Simply stand about two feet away from a wall, placing your palms against it at shoulder height and shoulder width apart. Bend your elbows and lean your body towards the wall. Then push back to the starting position using your arms and chest. Ensure your body remains in a straight line during the movement, engaging your core for stability. Number 7. Step Ups this is a functional exercise that enhances lower body strength and coordination. Using a sturdy low step or platform, start with both feet on the ground. Step up with one foot, followed by the other, so you are standing on the step. Then, step back down, starting with the initial foot. You can alternate your leading foot with each set. Keep your movements controlled, ensuring you place your entire foot on the step to maintain stability. Number 8. Arm Raises this exercise targets the shoulder muscles, improving mobility and strength. All you have to do is stand or sit with your arms by your sides. Slowly raise your arms forward and upward until they are at shoulder level or as high as comfortable. Then lower them back down at a controlled pace. For side raises, begin with your arms by your sides and raise them out to the side until they reach shoulder level. Then lower them back down and repeat. These movements can be done with or without light weights depending on your strength and endurance. Number 9. Shoulder Blade Squeezes This exercise strengthens the muscles between the shoulder blades, promoting better posture and upper back strength. To perform, sit or stand with a straight back and pull your shoulder blades together as if trying to hold a pencil between them. Hold the squeeze for a few seconds and then relax. Ensure you're not shrugging your shoulders upwards during the squeeze. Number 10. 
Resistance Training By using resistance bands or light weights, you can perform a variety of exercises to strengthen different muscle groups. Some examples include bicep curls, tricep extensions, and seated rows. When engaging in resistance training, it's essential to maintain proper form to ensure effectiveness and prevent injury. If you're new to resistance training, consulting with a therapist or trainer initially is likely a good idea. Number 11. Stretching Regular stretching helps maintain flexibility, reduce muscle tension, and enhance range of motion. Be sure to focus on the major muscle groups, especially those used during the exercises. For example, after doing leg exercises, perform stretches for the calves, hamstrings, and quadriceps. Hold each stretch for 15 to 30 seconds, ensuring you're not bouncing or pushing to the point of pain. And you may be wondering, who exactly needs pulmonary rehabilitation? These programs are primarily recommended for individuals with chronic respiratory diseases or conditions that affect their breathing and lung function. This includes patients with COPD, asthma, interstitial lung disease, cystic fibrosis, and pulmonary hypertension, among others. The program is tailored to improve their quality of life, enhance lung capacity, and reduce symptoms. But the question remains, is at-home pulmonary rehab effective? Yeah, at-home pulmonary rehab can be very effective when done correctly and consistently. The effectiveness of home-based programs often depend on the individual's commitment, the appropriateness of exercises chosen, and regular monitoring and adjustment of the program. Many patients find home-based programs more convenient and are, therefore, more likely to stick to them, leading to better outcomes. However, it's crucial to maintain regular communication with healthcare providers to track progress and address any issues. How often should you perform these exercises? The frequency of pulmonary rehab exercises largely depends on the individual's health status, the specific exercises in their program, and their overall fitness goals. Generally, aerobic exercises like walking or cycling are recommended most days of the week for about 20 to 30 minutes, while strength training exercises might be suggested two to three times a week. Furthermore, breathing exercises and stretching can be practiced daily. However, always consult with a healthcare or rehab professional to determine the best frequency for your unique situation. But as you can see, the incorporation of pulmonary rehab exercises into your daily routine can significantly improve respiratory function and quality of life. When performed consistently, these home-based exercises offer a practical approach to achieving better overall lung health. While pulmonary rehabilitation is generally safe and beneficial, there are potential risks, particularly if exercises are done incorrectly or if the program isn't tailored to an individual's needs. Some examples include muscle strains or injury, cardiovascular risks, respiratory exacerbations, and the overdependence of supplemental oxygen. That is why it's imperative to work closely with a healthcare provider and report any unusual symptoms immediately. Regular monitoring ensures that the program remains safe and beneficial. However, embracing these techniques can foster increased independence, making it possible to manage your respiratory condition more effectively from the comfort of your home. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.